Nice defense. Well done. Good job, guys. This may look like a typical soccer camp here in Alexandria, but the addition of 12 young ladies from Haiti provides a unique twist and an opportunity. For the second year in a row, Alexandria coach and the Cardinal Camp's director, Tom Roos, was instrumental in bringing young soccer players from impoverished Cito Soleil, Haiti, to Alexandria. He says this is so much more than just soccer. You know, and it all kind of comes back to it's not just what we're doing for those kids, but what are they bringing to us? And, and in my mind, they're, they're, we're connecting those kids with our local kids, and our, our kids are getting an experience of uh, that will help them understand that it's a, there's a world out there beyond their backyard or their local soccer field or Douglas County, and uh, it's a world that we all have to understand that uh, there are needs that exist. So it's, uh, it's a great, great lessons that our kids are, are getting from it as well. It's not just the kids who are learning lessons. The community of Alexandria has opened its arms to these 14 and 15 year old girls. Sean Riley was part of many who raised money to help bring in the Haitian players and is also one of a half dozen host families who say the experience is invaluable. You know, I think like most families, you're just kind of thinking about schedules and so forth and so on. But I really loved how my, my kids have really paid attention and, and had a lot of fun with the two girls with us. Uh, you know, based on where they're coming from and what their concerns are back home, I think my kids know immediately that, I mean, they have it so good here. And, and just to treat them as well as you can as our guests, and I've really that's been really special for our family. The Haitian Initiative is the program behind this opportunity. For years, its founder, former soccer pro Tony Sana, has committed to making a difference in Haiti, not just through soccer but through additional funds for meals and for education. He says Alexandria's efforts in that cause are special. The people here are so committed and they're doing it for the right reasons. And I think they realize what it does for these Haitian kids, but they also realize what it does for their community and their families. So I really look at the, the program like a partnership of communities. And it's awesome to see the turnout here today, the kids at camp, the way they're interacting. Um, from year to year, even coming back to the camp and having kids run up and give me a hug um, and tell me stories about the, the girls. Um, I could go on and on, but it's, it's, been a, it's been a great experience, and you know this community is pretty special. An example of that is through the response from Alexandria's dental community. Since most of these girls have never seen a dentist, Coach Roos arranged for them to be seen by several willing dentists here in town. Al Olson of Caring Hands Dental Clinic says that between the girls and their coach, the amount of care they receive would have cost thousands of dollars. But as a sign of community, the dental offices worked them into their busy schedules and waived their fees. We think we got most of the work done on the ones that would let us see them, as well as some of the other offices that, that did do some work also. So I think we did pretty well getting uh, most of the needed treatment done, or at least the, the very big ones. And uh, so I think overall it went well. And uh, I think everybody was appreciative, even if they were nervous about coming in. Their coach, Denny Sano, admits watching over 12 teenage girls who are all experiencing air travel and all that America has to offer for the first time, along with the Twin Cities soccer tournament, a cardinal camp, language barriers, dental work, all of it could be a bit of a challenge. But he and they would gladly do it again. And after soccer, they have English class and they have dinner, which is very interesting. And the English class too is very important. I think this is a good thing. A good things we we have we we have to continue to do it. They really like it and they really want to. They are waiting for the next year. You know. To say that they appreciate the welcome would be an understatement. At this reception alone, the word thank you was spoken dozens of times, along with a few more choice words of thanks. I am Shobabiti. I love you, Minnesota. <laughs> and it appears fairly certain that the Alexandria community loves and cares about these young visitors and their community back home. As Coach Denny says, soccer is union. And that it is. For the Voice of Alexandria, I'm Joe Kurkowski.